Hi there! I would like to show you one important thing if you want to make a real-life working cable trace pack and that is making special items which are not covered in my app. Although I do my best to cover everything, it can happen that you want to make something that is not really possible with my scripts. So, what you can do is creating a 3D block in the Plan 3D or in simple AutoCAD uh, and make a 3D model of the part what you want to have in the spec. So for example now I will create an item which is a cross, simple cross, but with one direction uh, having smaller width. So this is kind of special and currently it is not covered in my scripts, sorry about it. Um, but I will show you how to make something like this here, teach it to Plan 3D that it is a smart object with connections and, uh, and, and sizes and directions and whatever. And after that we will go to the spec editor and put it to the spec and come back here and insert it from the dynamic pipe spec palette. So let's get started. So I just uh, make the model. So I go to the modeling tab and make some sweeps. I would like to sweep this one along this path, this one along this path, this one, this, this one, here, but it is, hmm. it went down. If you know why it did it, just let me know in the comments below. Hmm. Okay, otherwise it's good. Okay, I move this plate here, this is like 2000. I moved it out to have some clear view and I extrude it by 0 0.75 because all other parts here are according to this plate thickness. I uh, union everything here. So now I have one 3D solid. Now I convert it to a block. I name it, I don't know, special cross. Base point specify a screen. Okay, this will be the base point. Not that it matters that much. So it is now block. So it is very important that it should be a block. And also maybe the layer is zero. Okay. So we have the block. Now we have to teach Plan 3D that it is a smart object. So let's enter plant part convert command. And we have to, as you read in the command, select block to convert. So I select this block and now select the port operation. So what you want to do with the ports now is adding one. So search for the midpoint. This is the midpoint. And now specify port direction. This is the port direction. Yes, I don't want to flip it, except. So now again, what do you want to do? Add. So I search for the middle point here. This is the direction, accept, add again. Going here, midpoint, this is the midpoint, this is the direction. Okay, if you know why this arrow is so big now compared to these two, also let me know in the comments, accept. And finally, the last one, add, is the smaller one, so mid, and this direction, accept, 
And now I don't want to add any more. I have the four connections and I just hit exit. So now this uh, block is a smart object. It has a small uh, picture you will see and it has all the connections in the four directions. So I just save the model uh, and go to the spec editor. So I already opened my spec, current spec in the plan 3D. This is the catalog that I'm using in this spec. So I go to the catalog editor and I will create a new component. And the new component will not be plan 3D parametric graphics. So I am not using any script, any inbuilt script or any new scripts what I have prepared. I will use custom AutoCAD DVG block based graphics. So basically what we have done already. So number of connection ports are four because we teached four connection for our special cross. Yeah, 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 there are some notes here. How do how you can do it? How you can teach a block to have four connections, for example. So it will be a fitting across. I leave it this empty. It will be metric. Sorry, Imperial guys. And it will be hmm, it will be 300 because three ports are 300 wide and one port is 100 wide as far as I remember. Mm, create. Okay, we have it. So usually I put all ports have the same properties take in and then type is PL. Yes, all connections. Facing is C usually for me. Pressure class is 10. You can use any other facing and pressure class. Just be consistent with all the parts. So long description will be special cross. And this will be the short description too. Because that is uh, shown in the palette on the side of in the plan 3D. So it is very important that the short description should be filled out. Otherwise, you will have many empty lines in the in the dynamic tool palette. Okay, so go to the sizes tab, and that will be the interesting uh, thing because you don't have a preview picture now because you haven't selected script-based uh, method of creating new component. You created a component where you have to use the plant part convert command to create a compatible block. We have already done it. Thank you for the tip, Autodesk. So we select the model. We have to search for the DVG where we prepared this compatible block. It is inside this DVG, so I select this one, open. This is this special cross, what we have created. This is the preview picture of the block, what Plant 3D uh, created for us when we made the plant part convert command. So I hit OK, I want to use this block. And basically all ports have 300 widths, except the last one. I remember that we have uh, added this port connection as last. So this should be port 4, if I remember correctly. We will see. Long description size doesn't matter for now. So I just hit save. So this is our new part, special cross. So I go to the spec editor and add this special cross to our pipe spec or cable tray spec better to say and I hit save. So I go back to the plan 3D. This is my block. I don't need it anymore. I refresh my pipe spec, cable tray spec. So here is my special cross. There is this black icon there, what is generated by Plan3D. 
Now I can insert it. So it's working. There are the the water drops around it. So four connections working. We will see if the sizes are also okay. So I just get a cable tray sleeve. Yes, 300. 300. 300. Super. And this is 100. So our item is ready for insertion and you can use it as many times as you want. Of course, if you want to make different sizes, you have to create new blocks all the time in the plant 3D space. Uh, make the plant part convert command, go to the spec editor, add them to the catalog and so on. So for bands, simple crosses, reducers, sleeves, these, whatever usual stuff you are adding, it's still better to do it in the usual way with using my scripts and uh, provided catalogs. But um, for special items, you can use this plant part convert command. I hope my video is helping to do it as fast and as painless as possible. So, okay, thank you for watching and bye bye.